This is painting can indicate different meanings of life. For example, there's a depiction of peasant life where he may want to reveal to the audience the respectful field of rural labor and then major role in sustaining the economy. The peasant life could be about the life of a sower that works in agriculture to plant seeds. Another depiction this painting could represent is agricultural life. And once when the seeds are spread on the field and planted in the soil, as time passes, the seeds will go along a growth cycle, receiving nourishment and guidance from the motherland. As the seed transitions into adult plant, it can either face a destination of harvest or join back with the soil. Agricultural life is significant because its existence affects our livelihoods. We depend on mother nature because it supplies our basic needs such as our food, clothing, and shelter. Another depiction may signify understanding human life. The agricultural cycle can even connect our own circle of life, such as a seed can represent a new beginning of life or birth. The land surrounding the seed can represent a vital force, such as a mother that supports her newborn baby. The sower can represent a biblical interpretation of a saint that carries the power to determine seed's life, such as how God determines our life. One day, a farmer went out to sow some seeds. As he walked along, he threw the seeds wherever he went. To dive further in a deeper meaning, this painting can also depict an example of Christianity. This is significant because the sower represents as a saint and the seed carries the message of God. Depending on where the sower spreads the seeds, the path of every seed will be different and carry different meanings. Such as a seed that are planted and grow in the soil will represent a human that has learned to accept Christianity and God's message. Yes, this painting can indicate many different heartbreaks, starting with the life of a peasant. There's an image of a man demonstrating hard work as he works along the big field to spread seeds on the ground. The sun present behind him looks like the sun is setting, and this can hint to the audience that he may have stayed there until sunset. Vincent may have wanted to express the detail of how tiring and laborious farm work could be and expose the harsh realities of the lower class citizens. A second heartbreak notices that the dark truth behind agriculture is once time has passed and it's time for a harvest, this man's role will change from a sower to reap. A reaper's job is to cut the plant and take the seed from the plant. Once a reaper does that, the true beauty of nature is harmed by the tireless demands of human population. The life of a plant has ended just to satisfy the needs of humans that use agriculture for consumption and production. Another task you find is that if you compare a seed's life to a human's life, a reaper can represent as an obstacle or death. Just like a seed that grows to mature, a baby will grow to reach that age in which they will have to face challenges alone. There will be some humans born into the world with an unlucky fate and can get exposed to harsh realities. Because of those experiences, some face the risk of dying, committing suicide, or causing trouble. Lastly, another heartbreak could be, according to a biblical meaning, the path of where seed lands can carry different meanings and results also in different consequences. Like, for example, according to scripture from a Bible about the parable sower, the seed represents God's message. God's message can be delivered or accepted by some people, or for others, it may never be received. There's a great use of yellow in the background, especially to color the sun in the sky. The sun painted in the picture looks overwhelming because of its big size and the fiery orange color surrounding it. Vincent may have wanted to do this because he wanted to emphasize the severity of the hot temperature and the worker's condition by painting the sun in this way. Aside from the sun, the field is heavily colored with purple, green, orange, yellow, and black. Like the yellow sky, these colors bring out the vibrant nature of agriculture. To make the field look abundant, Vincent patterns green and purple together and paints heavy brush strokes all around the field. He tries to give more depth by overlapping these crude colors along with the rest of the colors. The use of black helped provide this painting with depth and detail, which improved the overall look of the painting. Also to note, Vincent demonstrated his knowledge for shadow as he paints the top portion of the tree with black matching the position of where the man is standing in order to capture a shadow. <laughs> Thank you.
Van Gogh used a main element of black and other dark colors of paint to depict brokenheartedness. These types of color tones mostly signify unhappiness, tiredness, and depression. The sower may be feeling this way since he is working so strenuously in the fields. He can also represent as a reaper who is in charge of ripping crops out of the field, and this job could be saddening. The reaper being in the field off alone can be indicating that he wants to be alone and needs to be left alone to his thoughts. He is depicted as being dressed in all black, or it could be a shadow lingering over him, such as a spirit of depression being amongst him. Being depressed and unhappy can lead to other problems in life, and that could be the message Van Gogh is trying to show us in this painting. The Reaper could also have a health problem that has driven him to this sadness instead of depression or any other life hindering problem that is the root of his sadness and depression. The colors of the sower and the wheat field of crows differ greatly but still have some similarities within them. In the picture with the sower, it seems to be the later part of the evening around the time the sun sets by the look of the position and the different shades of yellow used to portray the sunset. The yellow and fiery orange color of the sun complements the sky, which also is yellowish orange color with white and pinkish red scattered across it. In the picture with the crows, a night sky is painted with a dark blue, white, black, and a lighter blue with the crows painted black flying into the night sky. The field that the sower is in seems to be like a shadow, so it is painted heavily with a purplish blue color along with some black strokes in yellow and burnt orange that seems to be a reflection of the sun with some green in between the rows to show the areas of grass that lie in between the sections of the field. Also, in the picture of the field of crows, the field is much more detailed with wheat painted a mixture of bright and dark yellow with a hint of brown scattered in certain places. In this painting, the paint strokes are shorter and seem to be blobbed on more than the other painting. There also seems to be a higher usage of green to complement the brown that depicts a trail and the yellow of the wheat field. The picture of the sower looks more detailed and like it was done carefully and gently, opposed to the wheat field of crows that looks harsh and hurried. The crows may be there to eat the seeds that did not complete the circle of life and grow into a stalk of wheat, which can be, tr be portrayed as a tragedy. To some, crows signify the end of life, also known as death. When the crows are eating the crops, that signifies a tragic fate for the wheat and also signifies a tragic heartbreak for the farmer that has worked hard to groom the crop into what it became. The implication that can be taken from this painting is that in the moment, the pain that he is feeling is temporary and he must move past it and not dwell on it because life will continue on. The connection of depression and brokenheartedness includes the message that we can't choose what happens to us, but we can decide how to handle the griefs and joys that we are faced with. And for this reason, life shouldn't be taken for granted because life is not guaranteed.